Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel Facts. Hi guys, so in today's video, I am going to talk about mucormycosis, which is related to with COVID-19. So guys, let's get started. Guys, on 9 May 2021, uh, that was Saturday morning, Dr. Akshay and I, a Mumbai-based eye surgeon, was waiting to operate on a 25-year-old woman who had recovered from a bout of COVID-19 three weeks ago. He said the surgery, an ear, nose and throat specialist was already at work on the patient, a diabetic. He had inserted a tube in her nose and was removing tissues infected with mucormycosis, a rare but dangerous fungal infection. This aggressive infection affects the nose, eye and sometimes the brain as well. After his colleague finished, Dr. Nair would carry out a three-hour procedure to remove the patient's eye. Dr. Nair told that, I will be removing her eye to save her life. That's how this disease works. Even as a deadly second wave of COVID-19 ravages India, doctors are now reporting a rash of cases evolving a rare infection also called the black fungus among recovering and recovered COVID-19 patients. So what is mycormycosis? Mycormycosis is a rare infection. It is caused by the exposure to mucor mold which is commonly found in soil, plants, manure and decaying fruit and vegetables. Dr. Na also says it is ubiquitous and found in soil and air and even in the nose and mucus of healthy people. It affects the sinuses, the brain and lungs and can be life threatening in diabetes because severely immunocompromised individuals such as cancer patients or people with HIV or AIDS. Doctor believe mucormycosis which has an overall mortality rate of 50% may be being triggered by the use of steroids a life saving treatment for severe and critically ill COVID-19 patients. Steroids reduce inflammation in the lungs for COVID-19 and appear to help stop some of the damage that can happen when the body's immune system goes into overdrive to fight off coronavirus. But they also reduce immunity and push up blood sugar levels in both diabetes and non-diabetic COVID-19 patients. It is thought that this drop in immunity could be triggered in these cases of mycromycosis. Dr. Na also says, Diabetes lowers the body's immune defenses, coronavirus exacerbates it and then steroids which help fight COVID-19 and fuel to the fire. Dr. Nair, who works in three hospitals in Mumbai, one of the worst hit cities in the second wave, says he has already seen some 40 patients suffering from fungal infection in April. Many of them were diabetics who had recovered from COVID-19 at home. 11 of them had to have an eye surgically removed. Between December and February, just six of his colleagues in five cities, Mumbai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Delhi and Pune, reported 58 cases of the infection. Most of the patients contracted it between 12 to 15 days after recovery from COVID-19. Mumbai's busy Sion Hospital has reported 24 cases of the fungal infection in the past two months, up from six cases a year, according to Dr. Renuka Brado, head of the hospital's ear, nose and throat wing. 11 of them had to lose an eye and 6 of them died. Most of our patients are middle-aged diabetics who were struck down by the fungus two weeks after recovering from COVID-19. Also, she told that we are trying already and seeing 2-3 two, two, cases a week here come here. It's a nightmare inside a pandemic. In the southern city of Bangalore, Dr. Aghuraj Heji, an eye surgeon, tells a similar story. He has seen 19 cases of mucormycosis in the past two weeks, most of them young patients. Also, he says that some were so sick that we couldn't even operate on them. Doctors say they are surprised by the severity and frequency of his fungal infection during the second wave compared to some cases during the first wave last year. Dr. Nair says he has come across not more than 10 cases in Mumbai in the past two years. This year, something different, he says that. In Bangalore, Dr. H had never seen more than one or two cases a year in over a decade of practice. Patients suffering from the fungal infection typically have symptoms of stuffy and bleeding nose, swelling of and pain in the eye, dropping of eyelids and blood and finally loss of vision. There could be black patches of skin around the nose. Doctors say most of their patients arrive late when they are already losing vision and doctors like have to surgically remove the eye to stop the infection from reaching to the brain. In some cases, doctors in India say patients have lost their vision in both of eyes. And in rare cases, doctors have to surgically remove the jawbone in the order to stop the disease from spreading. An antifungal intravenous injection which cost nearly 
2,500 rupees or 14 dollar a dose and has to be administered every day for up to 8 weeks is the only drug effective against the disease. One of the stalls the possibility of the fungal infection was to make sure that COVID-19 patients put in treatment after recovery were being administered in the right dose and reverses of steroids since with the role of sheep are boomed by the diabetologist. He says he treated some 800 diabetic COVID-19 patients in the past year and none of them contacted the fungal infection. Dr. Bakshi also told that doctors should take care of the sugar levels after patients are discharged. A senior government official says there is no big outbreak. Yet, it is difficult to say why a growing number of cases of mycomycosis are being reported from all over the country. Also, Dr. He says that the strain of the virus appears to be relevant, sending blood sugars soaring to very high levels. And strangely, the fungal infection is affecting a lot of the young people. His youngest patient last month was a 27-year-old man who was not even a diabetic. We had to operate on him during his second week of COVID-19 and remove his eyes. It's a pretty devastating. So guys, that's all for today's video. If you like this video and found it informative, if you like this video, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share this video because this video is very much important for related because it is related to COVID-19 and mucomycosis. So guys, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video with a more and more informative topic. So guys, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video.